login to aws management console click on ec2 service ec2 dashboard is showing that there is one instance which is currently in running click on running instances let's say if the cpu utilization of this running instance is more than 80 percent then the alarm has to be triggered and the notification should be sent out to the sns topic to get started let me click on services choose cloudwatch service cloudwatch alarms dashboard is showing that there are no alarms currently configured in this region to get started click on alarms click on create alarm click on select metric from the metrics available click on ec2 per instance metrics you can filter the metrics available for the specified ec2 instance by searching through the instance id then from the available metrics we can choose cpu utilization metric click on select metric now we can see that the CPU utilization metric has been selected for the instance which you have specified and the statistic is showing as average CPU utilization. By default, 5 minutes period is selected. However, it is possible to choose the different period as well from the available drop down. I am choosing 1 minute interval. Scroll down from the conditions section. We need to specify the threshold value. Let me specify the threshold as 80% and select the condition as greater, greater or equal, lower or equal, or lower. I am choosing the condition as greater than 80%. Click on additional configuration and here you need to specify the number of data points within the evaluation period that must be breaching to cause the alarm. I am choosing one data point out of one interval. Scroll down and click on next. Then we need to configure actions. What action should be taken care by the CloudWatch alarm when CPU utilization is more than 80% threshold which is specified as a condition in the previous screen. There are different actions are available. Notification auto scaling action and ec2 action if the notification has to be delivered to the email or to any other subscribers subscribed to the sns topic we can click on add notification then select the sns topic from the drop down scroll down and there are different actions also available here when you click on add ec2 action we can see that stop instance terminate instance or reboot the instance based on the actions which you have chosen the instance state will be get changed automatically when the alarm is triggered however i am not going to set up any ec2 actions for now and clicking on remove and recording auto scaling action will be discussed in the next lectures Currently, I have configured the notification action stating that whenever the alarm state is in alarm, the notification should be sent out to the CPU topic and the subscribers subscribed to this CPU topic will be delivering the message. Scroll down, click on next. Mention the alarm name, click on next. Now we can preview the alarm configuration and create an alarm. There are four steps are involved in creating the CloudWatch alarm. In the step one, I have selected the CloudWatch metric, which is CPU utilization, and specified the condition, which is greater than 80% of the CPU utilization. And in step two, I have chosen the actions, what action should be taken care when the alarm state is turned into the alarm state. I have chosen the action as notification, sending the notification to the SNS topic. In step 3, configure a CloudWatch alarm name and the description. Once the details are good, scroll down and click on create alarm. Now we can see that 
CPU alarm has successfully created and the alarm state is in insufficient data. Is mean that this alarm has not received any data from the metric. The moment when it starts receiving the data, the alarm state will turn into OK or alarm based on the data and the condition. As discussed, CloudWatch alarm will keep checking the CPU utilization for every one minute interval. Whenever CPU utilization is more than 80% threshold, then alarm state will turn from OK to alarm. Whenever alarm state is turned to alarm state, then it will send a notification to the SNS topic. To test this out, let me log into EC2 instance and put more load on the CPU. Whenever CPU utilization is more than 80%, the alarm should be turned into alarm state. Log into EC2 and run stress command. Stress command will put more eyeball load on the CPU so that the CPU utilization will go high. Let me use the example syntax mentioned here and run the command. We can specify how many number of seconds the stress command should put load on the CPU. I am going to put some number of seconds and hit enter. Now you can see that the stress command is putting more load on the CPU. The usage will go high. We can see the CPU utilization at voice level. Let me take a duplicate session log into the instance using ec2 hyphen user let me maximize the screen switch to the root we can use top command to see the cpu utilization at os level top command is showing that the stress command is putting load on the cpu and 100 percent of cpu is now in utilization we can see that only 0% is ideal. Let me go back to AWS Management Console and see the CPU utilization pattern from the CloudWatch. Log into AWS Management Console, select the EC2 instance, click on Monitoring tab. You can see that the alarm is in OK state at the moment. You can scroll down and click on CPU utilization. When we look at the CPU utilization, for last 5 minutes interval, we can see that the CPU utilization is went up and it is touching 100%. In order to see how the CloudWatch alarm state is being changed from OK to alarm state, let me go back to the CloudWatch service. From the CloudWatch alarm dashboard, we can see that the CPU alarm is now turned into alarm state. And when the alarm state is turned into alarm state, it will also send the notification to the SNS topic. So that the notifications will be get delivered to the emails which are subscribed to that specified SNS topic. To check the email notifications, let me log into the email inbox and see if we have received any emails. From the email inbox, we have seen that there is a alarm notification has been received from the SNS service. When we look at the details of this email notification, it is stating that the CloudWatch alarm state has been changed to the alarm state because the threshold is crossed. The current utilization is greater than the 80% threshold and the alarm state is been changed from OK to alarm state. Email notification also considered that the details such as what is the metric name and the instance ID and the period chosen at the time of configuring the CloudWatch alarm. Let me go back to AWS Management Console. As discussed, the CloudWatch alarm will keep checking the CPU utilization for every one minute interval whenever the utilization will go down below the 80% threshold automatically the alarm state will turn from in alarm to the OK state. This is summarizing how to create CloudWatch alarm and the different states such as alarm state, insufficient state and OK state.